Hello. Welcome to Jaymore's Weekend Agenda on Facebook Live, coming to you from Meadow Mill in Hamden. Be sure to tell us about your weekend plans in the comments field below. Comment, like, share, and follow at hashtag Jaymore Weekend. I am Amanda. You know me. I'm here with my special guest today. I'm very excited. This is Richard Garalic. I'm excited to be here, Amanda. I'm Richard, yeah. I'm Richard Gorelick, and this has come up, how to pronounce my last name. When did it come up? Everyone knows how to say Gorelick. It came up last night in a class, did and someone, someone had to introduce me, and he asked me. He oh, good. Asked me. That's good. The two of us combined have a very bad combination of names. We could be like a law firm in <laughs> Eastern Europe or something. <laughs> anyway, Richard, welcome back. You Thank filled you. in once before for me, and I appreciate that. I had so much fun. Um, But... What on earth are you doing here today? Uh, do you perhaps have a surprise announcement to make? I do, and it you know what it relates to you, and sort of Jay Moore. Yes, totally. Because I had so much fun on the podcast, I thought, why not have one that I host all about food? Yes. That's still what I love. I love food. I also love more than food. I love restaurants. I love talking about them. I love finding out about them. I don't miss reviewing them. Isn't that interesting? But I miss... Yeah, that's a whole I'm, other complicated matter. I miss learning about them and but telling people them about them. Eating them is always fun. <laughs> eating about them is fun. And I want to be able to tell people about new discoveries that I make and news in the restaurant, the Baltimore restaurant world, and what's hot right now, Cheap Eats. Mm, really? Absolutely. We're going to do some Cheap Eats? Yeah. Sweet. I love Cheap Eats. Uh, and I, you know, I love walking this city, and I think you can discover a lot about this city by walking it and uh, also make a lot of great food discoveries. This is too. awesome. So now what is the, what are we talking about here? What's the name of this show that you're going to be doing? I love the title of the show. It's called um, This Week in Baltimore Eating. <laughs> it's going to be Thursdays at 1230. Mm -hmm. And when are we debuting? October 5th. Sweet. That's I am a Thursday. Very, it is a Thursday. We're going to always be Thursdays. And it's after the holidays, right? E well, Yom Kippur still happens. Rosh Hashanah is next week. And then oh. we have... I don't know. It's close. It's in the middle of them. Don't look uh, at Kyle. He's not going to help you. Yeah, I better write I'm it down. Gonna help you. But, uh, I'm sure I can find this information. <laughs> yeah, actually on jmoreliving.com. <laughs> jmoreliving.com? What a great resource. <laughs> but anyway, we are very excited about this. Please, everyone, tune in for, for his show on October 5th. It's going to be amazing. You're going to bring special guests with you sometimes. I am going to invite special guests in. And those special guests might be, oh, it could be a chef. It could be... A maitre d, or it could be one of the hot new Instagrammers in town. So we oh, can learn wow. all about how that happens. I love I this. This I is gonna be great. You are. guys are gonna love this. Watch it. Richard is amazing. Um, we we just love him. So it's gonna be great. We want to hear you, everything Amanda. about openings, closings, new chefs, old chefs, all of that. So what about this weekend? Yeah. Do you have any big plans? I don't have any big plans, but it seems like another beautiful weekend in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. And you know that I always involved with the Baltimore Improv Group. I do know that. So I'll be volunteering there a couple nights this week. We're still, oh, wow. at 2600 Howard Street. We share a space with Single Carrot Theater. But did you know about our big move? No. We're moving to the old Everyman Theater Look at your October. breaking news all of a sudden. That's where, oh, right oh next to the Charles Theater. Gosh, we're right next to the Charles That's Theater. That's awesome. We're even going to cut a hole in the wall so we can go to Sophie's Crepes. <gasps> Sophie's Crepes will be attached to our theater. Nice. So I just can't wait to move down there. We really wanted a home of our own yeah. for a long time. Oh, this is plugging great. Plugging away. Plugging away on Baltimore Improv Group. So that's Look, where I'll you be. You heard it here first, you guys. This a lot is awesome. this weekend. Yeah, that's okay, big good. news. That's good. Um, so tonight, I'm going to go see It, and I'm terrified. You will have to tell me whether I can handle It. I don't it. know that I can handle It. I've got a really low threshold for horror and gore. Clowns? Clowns? Not specifically. I know that a lot of people do. Yeah, um, I do. But just things jumping out and grabbing other people, uh, I really have trouble with I know. With it. I think my adrenaline is going to be like up here. I don't know if I can handle it. My stepfather's coming with me, so I have something to hold on to because I'm going to need it. I'm scared. I'm actually scared. Uh, <laughs> you're going to have to tell me whether I can handle it. I will tell you. If I don't jump like four times, then I think 
people can handle it. If you guys have seen it, yeah. shout, give us a shout. Tell How us if any of that? us can handle it. In the comments? Yeah, they can comment right now. We're live. They can comment. Yeah. You, can, you can send us a little clown face if you liked it. So or when I host the show, I'll have to tell people to do that, yes, to make comments. that is what you're going to do. All right. <laughs> you are going to do that. All right, so let's see what else is going on tonight. Uh, oh, speaking of terrifying films, Rat Film <sighs> is at the Parkway. That's the documentary that was filmed here, and it uses sort of rats as like a conversation about social justice. Did and you see it at the film the fest? Two ball I missed at the film festival. Uh, that's I wouldn't have chosen it. I mean, I'm really impressed that they made this documentary. Right. But I'm I can't sit through that movie. Squeamish about yes. rats too. But for people, our listeners and watchers well, that are not squeamish about rats, <laughs> I can't deal. They should go. But I've been reading about this documentary. It's, so it's really amazing. fascinating, and it's another reason to get to the Parkway Theater. Right, which is great, and we love that it's there. Um, it was the hot ticket at the Film Fest. I actually had two tickets for it, and I was like, mm, no, can't do it. And I gave it to a really nice couple. That's where I the bumped lemon. into. Remember, we, yeah, into we saw each other. Festival. That's where it all began. We yeah. saw each other at Film Fest. All right. It was um, fate. So go see your at Film at Parkway and go check out the Parkway because it's great. Also, in more exciting news... Baltimore Rock Opera Society. They're back. What a great Gross. story. Now, people know that they've had a rocky year. They have. No pun intended. <laughs> um, the Baltimore Rock Opera Society, they were had trouble with their uh, ven- uh, you know, with their headquarters. They were evicted from there. And mm-hmm. I think they've finally come back. But they've struggled mightily to find uh, their footing. Their and, and they've got their footing. And people... The Zion res- Lutheran Church. Which is a great I don't, venue. I've never been in there. I've been there for um, beer festivals, and I've been there for their annual, uh, what's it called? Um, the food guy forgets that food name. Uh, it's a German food. They have an annual festival. Oh. Annual oh. German, it's called an annual German food festival. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's so. all Wiener schnitzel, but <laughs> what is it? talking about? I don't know. But they've Brat got or? a, no. nah, they've got this... Uh, not in the church building proper, but in addition, they've got a two-story building in the second floor. is this big cavernous hall that's really decorated so attractively, and it's a great venue for the Baltimore Rock Opera Society. Excellent. So good. Welcome them back to town. Go see them. This is The Terrible Secret of Lunastus, and it's a zany comedy romp through space, and they will be running through shows Thursdays through Sundays through October 15th. You are watching Jay Moore's Weekend Agenda on Facebook Live. Please comment, like, and share, and follow at hashtag Jay Moore Weekend. What were you about to say? Oh, write? just if people couldn't picture where is Zion yeah, Lutheran I don't know Church. Where it it's is. right across from C- Caddy Quarter from City Hall. Oh, wow. Okay. That's mm-hmm. a good location. Mm-hmm. It's central. Yep. People can get there. Plenty of parking on the street. All right. So this other event happening tonight um, it is actually for Glenn, who's not here today because Kyle's here. Hi, Kyle. But uh, Glenn apparently is a big, huge fan of Sturgill Simpsons. I'm not real familiar, but he will be at Merriweather tonight. He's apparently a genre-bending artist who um, (laughs) has explored different elements of American music history in each of his solo albums, and he's he's pushing some boundaries. Well, you know, when I'm listening to Spotify, sometimes Spotify will recommend, Uh and he's... Oh, you've, so you've to heard me. him? So he's in, my, he's in my wheelhouse. Glenn, if he was here right now, he'd be yelling at us. He's awesome. He's awesome. So let's, this one's for Glenn. And he, he, he says he's awesome. Glenn has amazing music taste. We both went to the same J. Roddy Wilson concert and had the time of our lives. Oh. So we trust J- Glenn. So go, go see, see that show. Yes. So tomorrow, here's something more up your alley. There's a Baltimore brunch fest at Harbor Point. Um, I don't. I think if you had to pick a meal, I'd say brunch is my favorite. I don't know where you stand on the brunch discussion. Uh, people are so mean about brunch. <laughs> They've got such an attitude about it. And my response is always, well, don't eat brunch if you don't like it. Yeah, but, really. But for people that like brunch, leave them alone. <laughs> I really like my brunch. I feel that way about pumpkin spice, too. I was just going to ask you about pumpkin spice. I was totally going to go there. My where, attitude where you, yeah, is... Are you team pumpkin spice? I'm team God bless people that like pumpkin spice, <laughs> and people that don't like pumpkin spice really should keep their mouths shut. Like, they should keep their mouths shut. Don't, don't drink it. Don't drink it. Don't buy a latte. Don't buy it. <laughs> don't comment on it. No. Don't post things you see on Facebook about it. Just, 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 just let it be. Let it be. Although it is excessive at this point. I mean, I'm seeing pancakes, donuts, 
Uh, cough drops. Cough drops now? Mm-hmm. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, it's a lot. I, I do mean, enjoy a pumpkin spice latte, I'm not going to lie. And it, we should remind people, it's not pumpkin flavored. It's the spices in pumpkin. Like cinnamon and cloves. And cloves, and, nutmeg. Oh my gosh, I had to write about that. And it took me, <laughs> I think, if it was a thousand words, it took me 800 words to disambiguate the whole thing about, we're not talking about pumpkin, we're talking about <laughs> right. pumpkin spice. Right. It was really hard to write. <laughs> <laughs> it's the spice that goes in the pie. It took so much heavy lifting to to like explain what I was talking about. We're not talking about pumpkin. We're talking about pumpkin, but I am in the complete camp of God bless people that like it. And if you don't like latte. it, then find something really more important to complain about. Right, like There's maple covered bacon, or sh- <laughs> uh, frankly, social justice. Like oh, that's oh, that where, too. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you're right. What I was thinking. Uh, you're right. <laughs> um, anyway, anyway, back to the brunch fest. Yeah, it's uh, it includes samples from 15 of your favorite brunch spots: a Bloody Mary bar, a mimosa bar, lots of tasty goodness, and that's Saturday. So there's that. I think that sounds like fun. I love me some brunch. A Bloody Mary bar? Come on. I mean, right? Where do you go wrong with that? You can't. I know. Um, and then in other food news, there's a homemade cheese and yogurt workshop. At the Science Center, which could go two ways. It could either be co- totally disgusting or um, a I nice think, cultured event. <laughs> oh, I really like that <laughs> play on words. And I think that, to me, those are two, like, the entry <laughs> level for uh, yogurt making. I think you can leave that day knowing how to make yogurt. Right. And you can go to the a store and buy all of your yogurt making needs. And you could be making yogurt. By Monday, uh-huh. cheese seems a lot more, more daunting and complicated. Well, they say they're going to make two traditional cheeses. I don't know which two those are. Maybe like goat and ricotta. Or I'm something. tempted to know. go to that thing because it seems so interesting. You leave with your own samples. I mean, my hippie mom back in the '70s used to make her own yogurt. She had a little yogurt maker. I remember that. I remember my friend's mom made it, and thinking that was cool. the most cool but outrageous thing, like making your own yogurt when you can. Go to a store. I think it's a little bit gross. I know. <laughs> it tastes really, really good. Yeah, it's like fresh. It tastes and like it has homemade. lots of culture. Active it's cultures. got all it the does. culture. Um, okay, well, speaking of good for you and homemade, there's a come as you are healing fair at Creative Alliance. So I'm probably going to need this after it. Yeah. Um, it includes a screening, a movie screening, a healing workshop, dance medicine, healing practitioners, uplifting music, and poetry. And when is that? That's, That's r- noon to five Saturday, and it is all free. You know, hmm. this is like, again, like um, pumpkin spice. These are easy things to look from the outside and, and shrug and wonder what people are doing. But uh-huh. things like this work for people. Oh, yeah. They do. People are into that stuff. Let it, let it heal them. Anything that works for you, take advantage of it. You know, I was doing meditation for a while. Improv actually replaced meditation. <laughs> right. But anything, it's like even a word that we're starting to make fun of and we shouldn't, mindfulness, anything that can mm-hmm. like, help your mindfulness and concentration. and Like I color. Sorry, there you go. You know, Everyone needs like something. Books. You should totally avail yourself of that opportunity to discover things. And you're not committing to anything. You're just exploring. Do that. That's a great idea. Good for Creative Alliance. All right. If you just got here, this is Jay Moore's Weekend Agenda on Facebook Live coming to you from Metal Mill. Be sure to comment below, share, like, and follow at hashtag Jay Moore Weekend. You can also view more videos at our YouTube channel, Jay Moore Baltimore Jewish Living. I am here with our special guest, Richard Gorelick, because he announced that he is starting a new Facebook Live for us. It's going to be Thursdays, and it's food-based. This week in Baltimore eating. And it starts October 5th, so be sure to tune in for that. I have one more thing I need to say about Saturday, and this is a totally just Amanda-centric event, but apparently Showtime got its hands on a very rare Sign of the Times concert film from Prince, and it's airing to, uh, Saturday night. You're going to be there. I don't have Showtime. Who's inviting me over? Who's inviting me over? Thumbs up if you want me to come watch I the Prince with you. I think I've got Showtime because I got it to watch <gasps> what? Twin Peaks. Really? Oh, so you've been yeah. watching Twin Peaks? Oh, I loved you do? it. I loved it. Did, were you an original Twin Peaks fan? But not hardcore. But and is I it better? Or I thought it different? was the best television I've seen in huh. uh, maybe ever. I thought it was... I can't persuade people that it's great because you need it to be at least immersed in a little Twin Peaks culture. Right. And Twin Peaks culture means reading blogs and reading reviews and reading... Um, Conspiracy theories. 
<laughs> and podcast. I mean, you, the enjoyment of it depended on how much extracurricular stuff you wanted to invest in. Okay. Yeah. But Kyle, the do you Prince watch? thing. Oh. The Prince thing. Oh. Amazing. Because I f- thought I've seen everything there is to see of Prince, and then they got their hands on this pretty rare. What a bonus. We're going to make sure you watch that. Okay. Everyone, thumbs up because Prince Showtime. If you have Showtime, Saturday night. put in the comments if you have a solution <laughs> for Amanda. <laughs> Um, I could order it and then cancel it. Nah. Nah, I was not talking about that. All right, Sunday. Guess what Sunday? The Ravens. They're back in town. Uh. Season opener. I mean, home opener. Sorry. Home opener. I got a sports guy sitting next to me. I should not misspeak that. Um, M&T Bank Stadium. Games at one. They're playing their AFC North rivals, the Cleveland Browns, and they totally shut out the other Ohio team last week they in an amazing game. Bengals and... Do you, do you ever tailgate? Uh, no, not really. I usually watch my games at home. You know, you can just walk down there. And just to tailgate. To the tailgate. And, and you can invite yourself to people's tailgates <laughs> if you're nice. <laughs> if you pretend you're writing about tailgate parties. <laughs> that was that what bring you do, a, huh? You bring could do a, a special a episode on memo. tailgate food, actually. You could. That's a great idea. You people could totally do that. People put on a show at those mm-hmm. tailgates. It's a lot of fun. People have had the same tailgate space since uh, m Bank Stadium yeah, was built. People have so much fun and it's people don't want to go inside to watch a game sometimes, but don't want to go in and watch <laughs> It's a good one. The Ravens. We need to win. Go Ravens. Um, there's another weird-ish event on Sunday. It's a Radical Jewelry Makeover Symposium at Baltimore Jewelry Center. It's a day of free events, lectures, and activities focused on jewelry making. There will be many workshops, including cuttlefish casting, photosensitive fiber printing, and mold making. And that's Sunday from 10 to 5. At the Baltimore Jewelry Center. Which is pretty cool. And then, um, to close out the Jewish Museum of Maryland's exhibit on Maryland weddings... And traditions, uh, the Stoop Storytelling is presenting an afternoon of true stories about the wonder and wackiness of weddings. Um, I love Stoop. I think you're a Stoop fan. I was. I did a Stoop. I did story. a Stoop. Yeah. I did a Stoop about uh, working at Oriole Park at Camden Yards while I was in college. I did it about working at Center Stage. See, funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, a lot of people in Baltimore have done Stoops. <laughs> this kind of yeah. No, we're special. <laughs> But but that should be a really good event, and that's two p.m. on Sunday. And that's a closing weekend of that exhibition. Yeah, uh, oh. yeah, the exi- yeah, uh, it's cl- okay. it's closing like the nineteenth. I think when is that? Yeah, I think it's the nineteenth. Oh. It's closing. It's okay. closing like now ish. Okay. Um, all right. So before we go, it is my duty to remind everyone that the high holidays start next week. Rosh Hashanah begins Wednesday. At sundown. Let's say at sundown. Uh, we're going to party like it's 5778. Who knew? 5777. <laughs> I just, love that year. No, it wasn't so good. No, but I like the numbers. The numbers were really good. It's I really, nice to say. My favorite was 5775. Really? <laughs> that yeah. was a good year for it was you. Same backwards and forwards. <laughs> right. It's a palindromic year. 5778 right. is a nice ring to it. All right. Well, maybe it'll be better. Maybe we'll, um, we'll be able to make some national changes and stuff oh, i was looking forward to rosh hashanah and the new year it's it's do you do cook something special you have some traditions um i show up with something usually but mom mom's mom takes it does, a, does she do a brisket she does a brisket her brisket's mm. really wonderful I, I don't even eat meat and i like a good brisket i we actually have a recipe up on the site for a vegetarian version made with jackfruit which jackfruit's this big thing right now. i've never jackfruited maybe you could do a whole episode on that right across the street from here is um or right up the street is that uh blue, blue pit, pit. Ha- thank blue pit you has jackfruit yeah yeah all right well so everyone happy happy rosh hashanah um that's gonna be it for us today unless richard has any last words to add i can't think of what that german food is we're gonna have to f- tell people you'll, what it we'll is. comment or someone tell us tell us if you know what richard's thinking <laughs> yeah. that's a whole new game we could play it's not what is richard schnitzel. thinking okay okay so as a programming note we will not be here next friday because of the holiday mm-hmm. but you can see us back here in a couple of weeks in the meantime check out our events calendar at jmoreliving.com slash events follow us at hashtag jmoreweekend be sure to tune in to This Week in Baltimore Eating with Richard Gorelick on October 5th. 5th at 1230. Yes, 1230 yeah. Thursdays. And he's going to talk to you all about Baltimore dining soon. It's going to be amazing. Have a great weekend. Yeah, everybody. Have a great weekend. Happy 5778. Bye.